Well, hello, my loves. How are you guys? I have to get gas because I have 12 miles left. I just went to the post office. I have to fill out some forms for my post office box that I have. I picked up a package. What else did I do? I renewed my post office because it's the beginning of the year. Also, happy new year. Happy 2024. It is crazy. I feel like last year flew by. Like I felt like we were like celebrating New Year's, eating grapes under the table, and then it was Christmas. Last year went by really fast. I am wishing you guys a new year filled with so much abundance and love and laughter and happiness. Wishing you guys all good health and just a great year overall in your personal lives, in your love lives, in love life <laughs> and in all of your dreams and goals and your business I'm just wishing everyone the best of the best this year I think this year is gonna be a really 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 good year for all of us so I'm I'm really excited I say this every year but growing up I never thought about what my life would be in 2024 you know like you don't think that far in advance like I can't imagine 2030 like saying that feels so weird to me so 2024 is just wild that it's here it is just so crazy we're gonna get some gas right now and then we're gonna head to target what a view i was just on the phone with michelle and she was like you have to go to home goods and i remember a few weeks ago we went to home goods and i saw some valentine's day stuff i love valentine's day even when i like didn't have a boyfriend, didn't have a husband. I love Valentine's Day. I have this tradition where it's actually just a tradition that I made up. I just love my best friends. So every year, I always send Michelle and Brooke flowers on Valentine's Day. I don't care if they end up like getting married and having kids. I'm still sending them flowers because I feel like Valentine's Day is just about love and you can love anyone, your dogs, your family, your friends, your significant other. So I'm really, really excited for Valentine's Day. And the good thing about Valentine's Day is like all the stuff is like really really cute you know like it's pink and it's red and there's a lot of hearts everywhere it's just so so fun but the good thing is like I do not want to buy every single thing because there's no need to be buying a lot so I just like to go and look so I'm gonna go to home goods and look at their stuff I'm hoping we can find a really cute like heart blanket I don't know why I'm in the mood for that also this year I am hosting Galentine's weekend which I'm so excited about Michelle's gonna come over and we're gonna have like a Galentine's girls weekend so I'm really excited to vlog that and have you guys join us in February when that happens so now I'm starting to look at V-Day stuff because I just know it's gonna sell out so so fast and I know Target has a bunch of cute Valentine's Day stuff too so we're just gonna take a look and be very smart with our purchases I came in the store and I found this beautiful Buddha and I'm gonna get this Buddha for my mom look at the detailing on this Buddha you guys oh my gosh come here Buddha I want to show everyone look at that detailing She's gonna love it. Every time I go to Home Goods and there's a beautiful Buddha, I always get it for my mom. I'm actually gonna show her right now. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So beautiful. Okay, how cute. They have tablecloths with hearts on them. How cute are these? They have a bunch. These would also be really good if you want to have like a Valentine's Day picnic and you don't want to put anything like too expensive on the grass or the ground. These are so cute. I really like this for our new dining table. It'll fit. Let me go, let me show you guys what it would look like. Isn't that so beautiful? I like the ruffles at the end. I think it's really spring. They have some spring stuff out right now too. I feel like you have to be like ahead of the game, huh? We are in the blanket section. I'm not gonna lie. It's looking a little weak, but yeah, we're here. Okay, let's see. We have some lips. I'm not into lips for Valentine's Day. This is really cute too. I don't know. Nothing catches my eye. Maybe it's too early you guys think it's too early maybe i see some valentine's day toys and this cute little sweater oh my god i kind of want to get this for clementine that's really cute look at these toys you guys there's more toys over here too oh my god how cute okay i'm gonna look at toys i don't see any maybe it's too early this is cute for clementine how much is this 13 dollars I don't know about $13 with this fabric though. Hmm. I randomly found this in like the self-care section. This is a good deal. You get the headband and these slippers that are so cute. I have a few of these at home for $13, right? This They come in this too. And like they have pink ones under there. This is so cute. I'm gonna check on Amazon and do a price comparison. This wiggly looking mirror is really cute. And then there's this like, I think this is wood. This is metal and this is wood. That's really pretty. 
this is what it looks like. So cute. I'm literally laughing at myself because I literally just have a Ziploc bag in my car with ramen. This is the, I believe it's Thai. It's the Mama Ramen, you guys. Oh my goodness. Growing up, I would open the ramen bag and sprinkle the dry seasoning all over the dry ramen. And it is so good as a snack. And the other day, I was eating Hot Pot with Michelle and I had leftover Mama Ramen. So I just put it in this bag and I've been snacking on it for the last few hours. This is like my favorite childhood snack. It brings me back to when I was like in elementary and middle school you guys This is like my favorite thing to munch on but I have it in the car until I can get home and have some dinner I just came home from Target and when I was at Target I found these beautiful spring Well almost spring flowers. They're fake obviously they were in the magnolia section And so I was standing there and I was playing around with them I ended up mixing a little bit of the pink flowers with like the purple and the green and the yellow flowers Hours, and then they had some green stems so I was playing around with it and I came up with this little arrangement and I think it's really pretty I sent Michelle like photos and pictures and she ended up loving it so much and so I was like okay well I'm gonna buy it and see if it's cute so this is what it looks like it's actually really pretty in person I feel like on camera it's just not giving the vibe that it should be giving it's so beautiful you guys I really was looking for something for like the center of our dining table and I think this looks great Sorry. No, you're good, baby. This vase also is like my favorite vase. I refused to get another one because I just did not want to spend the money. So I just moved it from where I had it and just replaced that other space. But this is from Zara. They still have it on their website. Do you want to smell it? Sure, I'll smell it. it. Carlos is making... This isn't... This, so Kim got this at Target. Target doesn't have the actual chocolate bar. What is it called, baby? The Abuelita chocolate. She doesn't, mm -hmm. they don't sell the actual round chocolate that you used and you make it in the... In yeah, the we'll have to box. go to like a Mexican grocery store. Yeah. Let me smell it. Let me smell it, bro. It still smells good. It smells bomb, but... I got these little... It just ain't the same, you know? I know, it's not the same. Let me know how it tastes. Mexican style instant hot chocolate mix. Mm. It's not bad. That's pretty good. But the chocolate one is just like... Yeah, we'll level. have to go get those. I bought these... That's us. These, um clay mugs from the Mexican store. That is piping hot. They're tazas. Where's Maxi Poo Poo? Maxi Poo Poo, dinner time. You guys, I'm still living with five dogs. Max is still here, which honestly we love him so, so much. He is such a good dog. Wait, where's his bowl? Maxi Poo Poo, are you ready to eat? I don't know where he's going. I'm having dinner. I have some radish kimchi that Oma made, I think a week ago, and they're so good, you guys. They're really, really crunchy, and Oma makes the best kimchi. I'm honestly so lucky and so grateful that Michelle's mom, who I call Oma, makes kimchi and always makes me a little batch. I literally haven't bought store-bought kimchi in a very long time. It also doesn't taste as good, so I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much, Oma. I think yesterday, yeah, yesterday, I made some dry seasoning, like Vietnamese-style spare ribs, and they're salty and they're crispy and they're so good, you guys. Look at this. I just went to State of Brothers and bought some spare ribs. We did some dry seasoning. We eat this a lot in the Vietnamese culture. We make sure the meat is nicely seasoned, has a lot of flavor, and since it's salty, we eat it with white rice. And I also have a side of cucumbers. I'm really excited for this. This is gonna be like the best dinner ever. Let me pick out a piece of radish and have it on the side here. Sometimes I cook it on a pan with oil, but yesterday I did the air fryer because I was multitasking, and the air fryer is so, so good. I highly suggest dry seasoning on spare ribs, pop it in the air air fryer. The outside is like nice and crispy. I also made some white rice. Mmm, that's so good. This is probably one of my favorite meals because it's just so easy. I also love, like this piece is going to be so good because the meat is like stuck to the bones. I love sucking on bones. Oh, it's hot. I'm going to have the meat, a little rice. Mmm, kimchi. Good morning. They all just ate. He's enjoying his water in the morning. Oh my gosh, you guys, it feels so good outside. There's like a nice cold breeze. Max is taking a bull bull out there. Oh my God, there's an, oh, I love this weather. There's like a nice breeze. It's like a little bit chilly, but not too much. Like it's manageable. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm not a summer girl, I feel like. Especially where we live in the summer, it gets up to like 110, 150. 
15 degrees Fahrenheit. It is too hot outside. Like summers here are not fun. I'm more of like a spring, fall, winter. So every season but summer. Hi, Bubba. How are you? Okay, goodbye. Go potty, baby. Riley, go. No, 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 go. Wait, what's wrong? Riley, George. Bonnie, go. Have fun. Get some fresh air. Okay. He is such an indoor dog. I think he likes to be outside like for an hour each day and that's it. Since it's the next morning, I want to show you guys the florals in the good lighting. They're so pretty. I really like them. I'm going to leave them there with the tags on and sit on it for like another few days. <laughs> but I really like them. We are having spam, eggs, and rice for our first meal of the day. So excited. I need to buy more spam. This is the one that we like. It's 25% less sodium. You still got the kick of the sodium, but it's not as much. I think I'm gonna do like tiny bite-sized pieces. And I have the jasmine rice running. I'm gonna do a fried egg. We got a little bit of kimchi, a little bit of cucumber. It's gonna be a good meal. Alrighty, let's see. This is also a very small knife, but I don't wanna get any other knives dirty. I wanna show you the beauty. I love Spam. Spam is like a staple in my life. I grew up eating it. I remember during COVID, everyone was buying Spam. I didn't really uh, eat Spam growing up. Really, baby? Mm -mm. I think it's definitely very popular in the Asian culture. culture. Nice. This is definitely what my mom used to make me in the morning before school when she didn't want to like Coopy. do anything crazy. Is Koopy eating something? No. Okay, now we're gonna... Taking the tree down so now you can't eat the look. So then you're gonna want to cut into strips. You should have strips like these. And then you want to cut them into small little cubes. I like the small little cubes because they're crispier and they're bite-sized. So every bite with the rice, you're gonna get some bam. And then you should have little cubes. Yum. This is what it should look like in the end. I also have my egg running. I like my eggs super crispy. Probably gonna sit here for a while. Look at him, babe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then you're going to add your milk of choice. Okay. Chibani. Chibani. Ah! What happened? It's getting colder, right, I guess. You okay? Yeah. Will you help me real quick? Yes, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Just give me a, just give me a, a paper towel. Thank you. That's so lame, I thought it closed it right. Well, don't be shaking at all crazy. Fill it up to like, maybe the... the right here? No, a little bit above the middle of the cup, baby. Okay. Yeah. Oh, more, babe. Right there, yeah, that's perfect. You wanna like cover the ice, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, we gotta, we, this you can remove and adjust. You're gonna grab an espresso. I'm gonna, te I'm teaching Carlos how to make coffee. You just, babe, all you gotta do is just like tap it up. Oh. Yeah. Put it in. Like this, right? Yes. And then you tap it down. It does everything. And then press the button. There we go. Oh, see, when we pressed it, this was flashing. I don't know why it was flashing. Mm. It'll it'll be done. It'll just come right out, and it'll smell really good. I'll grab a straw. Oh my God, are you gonna make me a cup every morning? I use whole milk though. But that's how you make yours. This is. Yeah, this is exactly how I make mine, whole milk? but with whole milk, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, get the whipped cream, baby. Yeah, it's super easy. It smells right. so good. And we're going to add a little bit of caramel on top. A little bit, yeah. And then whipped cream and you're done. Nice. Enjoy. Very nice. Try it. Let me know. Ooh. Good? Yeah. The spam is almost done. I'm just trying to get it to like a nice crispiness. We have some rice at the bottom, the spam pieces, and eggs. A little bit of sriracha, or a lot. <laughs> and we're done.
I'm so excited. Grr. First of all, my egg is running. Like, she's running. A little bit of the yolk, the rice, and the spam. Wait, they're open 24 7? Mm hmm. No way. I thought they closed. No, should we go? Yeah, we should go. Maybe I can ask them to come Sunday night. Wait, no, Monday night. Uh, if you want, it's up to you. I mean. Was it even good? Yeah, it was. It was bomb. Okay. I think Babe, you, you do know we can order home any time of the day, right? No, it's not. I was going to tell you, but I have a Denny's. You have to eat there in order mm. for it to be like this best. Okay, Dale. Because when you order, it's good, but it's not great. It doesn't hit the same, you know? Mm-hmm. She needs to stop. I'm waiting for her to tell. That she's pregnant? Yeah. You're going to flip out. <sighs> Are you maybe having a couple? I'll be here shortly. This is an opportunity to start fresh. I told you last night, grapes can cause you to have stomach aches. Being, uh, I'm basically going to cleanse my stones that I do a lot of healing work with. Where do you want them? Where you were asking me? Just right there, honey. It was like. Investigation. Yeah, that's what, that's what I would like, and like that's why I just wanted us to spend some time together. It is time, friends. I'm sad, but I'm not sad. I'm excited to put it away. The sad Christmas is over. We're gonna start with the ornaments, the cute little ornaments we put everywhere. I love this tree, babe. This is a good tree. It's looking so empty. I organized the ribbons and the little ornaments in Ziploc bags so it's easier for us to figure out how to decorate for next year. Alrighty friends, we have everything Christmas related in these red containers. I'm actually returning these green ones to Target. I got these green red containers, actually all the containers right in front of you I got at Target for $8. A tip I have is wait until literally a day or two days after Christmas, everything at all the stores they go on sale for like 50% off some stores are like 70 to 90% off you guys I was at Seda Brothers and they were giving away Christmas flowers for free because they were just trying to get rid of everything but I got these containers for $8 at Target I ended up just getting all red ones so then Carlos and I know whatever's in the red containers is Christmas related only but they're really really nice this is what they look like I'll try to find them for you guys if you're interested in organizing anything around your house or most importantly trying to organize all the Christmas stuff. This is just easier, I feel like, because Carlos and I didn't really have like a Christmas organizational system. So every year when we try to decorate, it was just so complicated. So now I know all the Christmas stuff are in the red containers. I also got this long one, which is so, so good. It fits rolling paper. So in here, I actually have all of my gift wrapping supplies, which I love. It's a really long container. This one was not $8. This was like a little bit more expensive. I think I got this on sale for $17, but it has all of my rolling paper down here, and then I have tissue paper, bows, ribbons, basically anytime I need to wrap a present, I know that everything is in this container, which is cool. They have like a bunch of containers on sale. I think the sale is still going on right now, actually. I highly recommend, really, really good purchase. I usually just wait till after Christmas because I want to save some money and take advantage of the sales going on. Hi. <laughs> Hi. We're eating dinner. We're eating the same thing. <laughs> We're eating leftover. I got mine right here. Said I chopped two pieces of bread. I got Casper right here because this is what they do. Max is still here with us. He's a good boy. Riley and then old man and then Cooper. Cooper. 
All right, well, we're going to eat and, and watch, watch 90 Day. 90 day. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Hello, my loves. It is the next day. Max left this morning. I'm so sad. The week went by so fast, you guys. He was here for seven days, and it was the best seven days of our lives. I loved having Max over. He is just the sweetest dog ever, and I'm going through withdrawal because we just got so close, you guys. We would cuddle every single day. We would nap together. He is just the sweetest dog. He's really excited to be reunited with his mother. So he left this morning. I actually have to head back to the post office because there's some paperwork that I need to fill out. And then I'm just going to swing by the grocery store and grab some like stuff for sandwiches because Carlos wants to make like a bomb ass sandwich. And then he's in the mood today to make a cake. So I'm getting some cake mix as well. So let's go. Don't know if you guys can tell, but yesterday, all actually all of last night, Carlos and I organized all of the Christmas stuff. Those red bins containers from Target came in so handy. Now we know everything in those red containers have Christmas stuff, which we ended up putting up there. By the way, I want to recommend a company to you guys if you live in Southern California. They're called Good Garage. I'll link them down below. I talked about them two years ago when they first came and installed these organizational, what are you, shelves? And they're so, so cool, you guys. It holds up to like, I think, a 1,500 pounds of stuff. And I like it because you can just organize above your garage and still pull your car in. I'll link them down below. I really, really like the company. Family owned and they do it right on the spot. So they came that day. They gave us a quote. They drew it out for us. And they were like, do you want to get it installed? We said yes. And they had everything ready in the back of their truck so they can do it same day. All of the Christmas stuff is organized. We now want to organize all the shelves. It's the beginning of the year. So I just want to declutter everything. We organized the shelves up there too. So we're not done yet, but we're almost there. Last night, we also watched the entire season of 90 Day Fiance season nine. It was so, so good, you guys. And that's all we did last night other than organizing the garage. Today, we're taking down the Christmas trees. I know we are, I know I said we were going to Target, okay? I mean, not Target. Ugh, we're not going to Target today. I'm staying away from Target. We're going to Stater to Brothers. We'll be there in a minute. I just wanted to keep you guys updated on what, did, what I did last night because I didn't get to show you. Yeah. 90 Day Fiance, we are so, so obsessed right now. Today, we're taking down all three Christmas trees, and I think we should be done with Christmas decor. I'm actually really excited that all the Christmas stuff is gone. I'm so excited to be back to, like, the normal house. Okay, well, I know those two are kiwi, right? No, babe. One is green apple. Oh, okay. That one's kiwi. This one's kiwi, babe? Yeah, they marked it. Wait, these are so cute, babe. They have a heart. Oh, this is kiwi. This is lychee yakult, and then this is green apple. We're trying this new boba place that we just saw, alpaca tea bar. Hopefully it's good. I'm gonna try the kiwi first. It's for hot. <laughs> oh. Ready? Yeah, I'll do this one. <gasps> I like it. It's not too sweet. It's very subtle. That's kiwi. This is green apple. Mm-hmm. Mm. You gotta shake it up. I like it, Bubs. This is how I like my drinks. Not too sweet. Try my kiwi. That's really good. Mmm. Wait. Can we order this this weekend when Michelle's here? That's bomb. This is the lychee yakult, and these containers are so cute. Oh, really? I actually really like this place. It's not too sweet. Bomb? So good. Hi, it's been a few hours later. I took a fat nap and I took a shower and I did my skincare. And now I'm gonna make my nighttime cherry drink that I've been trying out for the last week and I've been really enjoying it. Let me get the ingredients. First and foremost, we have the Lakewood Organic Tart Cherry Blend. This is 100% juice from Concentrate. I buy this at Stater Brothers. From what I learned on the Tiki Talk, you can also buy this at Target. Maybe not the same brand, you guys, but I think something similar. But make sure it's just like 100% cherry. I'm gonna grab a poppy and I'll be right back. I have my poppy. This is the cherry limeade one. I really like the cranberry fizz, but I ran out. I should probably buy more of those before they're gone for the season. But since we're on this like cherry theme, I think this will be a good option. 
a lot of people will add like um, magnesium powder inside. I've never tried magnesium before or like the powder that they're talking about. And I've heard that sometimes it gives people a stomach ache. So I'm kind of scared because I'm kind of sensitive down there. You guys know that. I don't know, but her, oh, I've heard that it gives you like the best sleep of your life. Oh, and this tastes really good to me. Some people don't like it, but I love it. It's like tarty. It tastes amazing. I honestly can drink it alone too. Sometimes I do drink it alone. Oh my God. It's like a little sleeping cocktail. It tastes so good. I think I made a little too much. <laughs> that tastes amazing. I love. Hello. It's been a few hours later. I can't sleep. So I'm gonna try this for the first time. I bought this on TikTok shop because everyone has been talking about it, saying that this tastes like real authentic Vietnamese pho at home. So I got the beef pho. I also got the chicken pho, but I'm gonna try the beef first. I don't know. I'll give you guys my honest review. You can just pop it into the microwave. That's how easy it is. TikTok shop gets me every time, you guys. The container's pretty big. Smells pretty good. Comes with chopsticks. We have the pho broth cube. And then the coolest thing is we have the seasoning, but it also comes with a pouch with all of the pho aroma and dry spices in here. That's dope. It also comes with hoisin sauce and sriracha. That's pretty cool. Everything you need is in one place for like a quick pho kick, you know, you've been craving it. So here are the noodles, and it says to just put the cube in. And then you don't open this, you leave it in here, just like real pho. Now fill it up with water. I filled it up to the line, there's like a line, you'll see it. So it says leave the, the pouch in here. Don't open this pouch, okay friends? Leave it in there, close the lid, and then it goes in the microwave for five minutes. It smells decent. It smells pretty good. Baby, you wanna try the beef pho? I'm okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you wanna take that bag out. The noodles cooked really nicely in five minutes. I think the first thing I always do is taste the broth. This is the beef pho. It smells decent, it smells pretty good. It's not a hundred percent pho, but if I had to judge it on like being at home where you can microwave, it's not bad. But like if someone's never had pho in their life, I wouldn't like give this to them and be like, this is what pho tastes like. Cause authentic good pho does not taste like this. But if we're putting in the category of you're at home, you're craving it, it's two in the morning and you just want to microwave, this is not bad. Cause the Costco pho, the, the pho containers at Costco, those are, worse than this. Damn, it like, I see where they're going with this. Cause I think this was made by Felicious LLC in Houston, Texas. I mean, it's not bad, but it's definitely not pho. Let me decorate it real quick. Have the sriracha and we have the poison sauce. Obviously you can add water spinach, you can add your basil, you can add your lime and your chili peppers, your jalapeno. I do think five minutes is like overcooking the noodles for me. I like my noodles pretty chewy. Okay, it tastes a little bit better after you put all the seasonings in. I'm sure with like bean sprouts and basil and all that, you could get pretty close. I would still drive my butt to the pho restaurant. But if I was really craving it, let me think it in that perspective. If I was really craving pho at two in the morning and nothing was open, I would be okay with this. I definitely don't think it tastes exactly the way that pho is supposed to taste and this is not something that I would like give to a first timer, you know? Mm. I'd be satisfied with it. I need some meat though. Thank you. 
Cupcakes look good. <laughs> Maybe we're meant to make cupcakes, babe, not an actual cake. Not full cake, then. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, we gotta let it cool. How'd you get the top? What top? It just happens naturally? Yeah. Uh, you want another one? No, no, no. I wanna wait until we put frosting on it. Okay. Friends, look at all the cupcakes. Let's ice them. Then I got these little sprinkles, my favorite. You just decided you're gonna spray this on me. Well, she kind of got sprung on me too. She said she was flying up. She asked me to go. Her. I don't want to wait to Natalie. I hope that she minds her man. I reached out to Natalie and sent her mom like for something to happen to Natalie's mom. The sprinkles look so good, friends. Look. Oh my gosh. Yay. Let me move them over here. Imagine if I dropped all of this right now, I would start crying. Oh my gosh, they look amazing. Well, cheers. I love you guys.